got here today are the components that you're going to need to build a personal imaging lab in your own home. A digital camera such as the Photo PC 3100Z would be a good camera to start with. It's got a 3.3 megapixel CCD, which is plenty of processing power to produce 8x10s. It's got a 3 times optical zoom. It's got a hot shoe for a flash and also a tripod stand. And in addition to all the automatic programs that are built into the camera, it also gives you the functionality of manually controlling all the shutter, contrast, brightness aspects of the camera as well. So as you grow into the photography, this camera will grow with you. The images are captured simply by turning on the power and looking at the image either through the LCD on the back or through the viewfinder and clicking a photo. So you've taken your image and now it's stored on this compact flash memory card. The card in this particular 150 stand or through the viewfinder and clicking a photo. So you've taken your image and now it's stored on this compact flash memory card. The card in this particular camera has 16 megabytes of memory which will allow you to take about 150 standard photos. From this card, we can download directly into the PC using the card slot, or the other method would be to hook a cable from your computer up to the camera and download it that way. Once in your computer, you're ready to print. Each image that I've taken is being encoded with operating parameters of the camera for its brightness, its contrast, its color space. These are all added to the top of our JPEG image before it goes back to our computer so that as, before we, as we print it on an Epson printer, it'll decode that information and accurately reproduce that color, that brightness, and the contrast that was in the normal environment that you took a picture from. That technology is called print image matching. An ideal companion to your new digital camera is going to be a photo-specific inkjet printer. Consumer inkjet printers are now available from about $69 and up, but for a photographic quality inkjet printer, you're probably going to have to spend four or $500. The Stylus Photo 890, which we have here, costs $449. It offers six color printing, which gives you a really wide color space to represent all the different skin tones of people you're going to want to take pictures of. But also, it uses a special photographic ink when combined with Epson paper. It has a durability that's comparable to that of the photographs you're now getting from your image lab, which would be about 20 years. And photographers in general are choosing Epson for photo printing because of the extra technology we're able to build into this exacting environment.